In this video, we're going to be taking a look on pages of Excel 90 and 91 in which we're going to format a chart. Formatting a chart can make it easier to read and understand. Many formatting enhancements can be made using the Chart Tools Format tab. You can change the fill color for a specific data series, or you can apply a shape style to a title or a data series using the Shape Styles group. Shape styles make it possible to apply multiple formats such as out and outline, fill color, and text color, all with a single click. You can also apply different fill colors, outlines, and effects to chart objects using arrows and buttons in the Shape Styles group. Now, step one on page Excel 90 tells us that with the chart still selected, we're going to click the Chart Tools Format tab. And then we're going to click any column in the quarter four data series uh, that's on there. So we can choose, say for an example, um, the United States quarter four. And notice that when we click on the purple column there, it's going to select all of the purple columns uh, because it's using the, uh, well, that's going to um, select all of the quarter four data series. And that's showing us that the entire series is selected. Then next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Shape Fill List arrow, and of course that's in the Shape Styles group here and uh, on there, and there's our Shape Fill. When we click on this, we're going to change this to Orange Accent 6 uh, on there, and of course uh, that is up at the top in the Themes Color area. That's the first row, 10th from the left. And when we click on that, all the columns for the series become orange and the legend changes to match the new color. Now you can also change the color of the selected objects by applying a shape style. Step 4 tells us that we're going to click any column in the quarter 3 data series. And so we're going to select the green now. And of course the handles appear on each of the columns in the quarter 3 data series. Now this time we're going to click on the More button here, and that's going to be uh, in the Shape Styles gallery. And of course notice that we have all the different shape styles that's here. And of course you can hover the pointer over the different effects uh, on there. But ultimately we want to choose the Moderate Effect Olive Green Accent 3 Shape Style, which is going to be the fifth row. So here's the one, two, three, four, five and it's the fourth one from the left over here and that's the moderate effect olive green accent 3 once we click on uh, we can uh, we can click on that and take a look at it but we don't like that so we can actually go through there and make a change uh, we want to choose the subtle effect olive green uh, accent 3 shape which is actually one just right above it and there it is right there we want to click on it and now the style for the data series change has now been made. And now we uh, step seven tells us that we want to go ahead and save our work. Now, of course, a quick tip to apply a word art style to a text object, such as the chart title, you would first have to select the object, then click a style in the word art styles group on the chart tools format tab. Now, on the bottom of page Excel 90, it talks a little bit about previewing a chart. Now, to print or preview just a chart, you first of all have to select the chart or make the chart sheet active. Then next you click the uh, file tab. Then you can click print on the navigation bar. Now to reposition a chart by changing the page's margins, you click the show margins button in the lower right hand corner of the print tab to display the margins in the print preview. Now you can drag the margin lines to the exact settings that you want as the margins change, the size of the placement of the chart of the, uh, on the page changes too. Now on the bottom of page Excel 91, it talks about changing alignment and the angle in access labels and titles. Now the buttons on the Chart Tools Design tab provides a few options for positioning label or the access labels and titles but you can customize their position and rotation to exact specifications using the Format Access pane or the Format Access Title pane. Now with a chart selected, you can right-click the Access 
text so maybe for an example if we want to change this we can just right click this here and then of course we can click on the format access uh, down here or the format access title and then we can go through there and uh, of course the pane that is selected we could always choose the size uh, on there and properties and there's the different options that's there uh, that we can choose and of course there's fine line and effects and there's the size and properties and you can actually change the alignment here as well and of course that way so if you'd want to have it at an angle uh, as well so notice if I put this at a different angle and I'm just going to change this temporarily notice I can set this at an angle so that the text actually will go through at an angle now of course you can do it as positive angles or you can actually go through and treat them as negative angles as well so you can actually main it, make it lean at either direction so I want to set this back at zero here and I'm going to close this down so go ahead and make sure that you do have your um, spreadsheet saved and that covers the information on pages Excel 90 and 91 and you are ready to move on to the next video.